Hi, I'm Liberty from BeforeAndAfters.com. And I'm going to show you how I make our family photo yearbooks using Blurb's free offline software. I really love using it and I want to show you how I do it. So first of all, you would need to download their free software by clicking this button. I already have it, so I will open it from my taskbar. You can click the Create button and choose which size book you will use. I use an 8x10 because it fits on our shelves easily. You will also choose which quality paper you want. And I have always chosen their standard paper and been so happy with it. Here's my current book. I've made six yearbooks and this is my seventh one. I do not use a lot of text. I make a monthly page and tell what happened, where we went, and then I just like to have the photos to talk about as we look through the book. So here's where I would put my next monthly page for July. So I'll go in, I'll copy my text so that it's the same size. And I'll go put it in. And change the month to July and edit that as I go along and see where we were. So to get the photos, you'll go here. Now I have already collected and decided which ones I want in my book. I made another post showing how I do that and how I organize them and get them ready for this. So I will go in to my July folder. And I've already looked at these and decided they're the ones I want. So I'll scroll down, hold down shift and click to choose all and open. This will import them into the software. I really love working offline and then when my book is finished, uploading it and ordering it. Now you could work on this month by month and then it wouldn't seem such a daunting task at the end of the year. But I found that I need to wait a while before I go back and choose my photos. Otherwise I would choose too many. Okay, so there's a couple that I will go back and see if there's a way I can use those. So I like to sort them from the date taken. And I know these are all for July, so I will select all of them by again holding down shift and clicking. And then I will auto create my book. I already have my page chosen and they're gonna go forward when I auto create this book. And it will put all the images in here for me. So if I just wanted them to be like this, I would be done. But I spend quite a bit more time organizing them by event or putting flowers with flowers, etc., etc. And also, sometimes I can reduce the number of pages this way. I 
Okay, it has finished putting all the pictures in my book, and now I will go in and begin to edit the pictures. So I'm going to show you the photo editing in a different video because that can be long and tedious. For now, I want to show you how my book is finished and what I've done with it. I actually decided to put photos behind my monthly text. I really like how that turned out. I've never done it that way before, um, but it looks really nice. Um, here's June with a beach picture, and I think that looks really nice too. So before you finish your book and upload it, you can look at any errors that might be in here. There could be text errors, low image. I'm gonna keep that one the way it is, even though it might be fuzzy. So you wanna go in and fix those. There's a border around here showing you where you need to keep your pictures. Um, the pink is a, like a gray area, and then the dotted line is where it will probably be cut off. So keep that in mind as you are putting your pictures in to keep the important content out of those areas. I also want to show you what I did with my cover. That's up here in the left corner. I put one picture here for the front. I put text on the spine and another picture on the back. I've chosen the hardcover image wrap. There's several different options over here. And I've put the year on the front too. So you can make it however you like. And then the very last thing you wanna do before you upload your book to order it is preview it. So this is where you look for any mistakes in your text, in your pictures, in your layout. One last time. So you just click these little arrows and look at everything in your book. I've already done this, so I'm going to exit out. The only thing about being able to work offline is that you have to work on the same computer to work on your book. So you can't work on it at home and then go work on it at the library. It won't be there. But for me, that's something I don't need to worry about since I always use the same computer. Okay, and then once you're ready, you'll click Upload. You'll see I have almost 200 pages, which is a smaller book. Sometimes I have 300 pages, but you'll click upload. Um, you have to save. It usually saves automatically. Okay, ask you to sign in. The standard paper. I downloaded the PDF from the preview and that took a long time, just so you know. So I don't need this PDF. For $20 extra, you can remove the blurb logo from your book, but I don't mind having that logo on the first page inside my book. So. I'll take the $20 instead. I'll click next. It can do a spell check for you here, but I've already reviewed that, so I'll keep going. I'm going to ignore this and let it print blurry. That was the only error. I reviewed my cover.
They give you another chance to review your pages, just in case you missed that step. This process can take a while. I've had it take an hour or two hours to finish uploading, but that's okay. Okay, so my book has uploaded and now it is ready to order. I'll click the finished uploading button. So now I've gone to blurb.com and signed in to my dashboard. And now my book that uploaded is here. It tells me I have to order it within 15 days. But I am ready to do that because there is a 41% off deal going on right now. So I'm going to order my book. I can preview it again one more time if I want to. Make sure everything uploaded properly. And you just click on these corners to see how it's going to look. You can go backwards and forwards. Okay. I'm satisfied that it uploaded properly. So I previewed my book and now I'm ready to order it. So right here at the very end is where you will put in your code if you have one. And I highly recommend waiting until you have one in order to get the best deal. So now you can see even with $7 shipping, my book will cost $55. I have over 1,000 photos in my book, so this is a great deal. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing how I create my photo books using Blurb's offline software. Thank you.